Deputies say it was like something you'd see in a movie. This was a horrific scene. Early Saturday morning, the sheriff's office got a 911 call from a woman inside this home on Page Court pleading for help. When deputies made it to the house, they found a man who was unconscious with a cut on his head and what appeared to be dried blood emitting from both of his ears. The woman told investigators they were just torturing him. Deputies say the man they believe is responsible for that torture was 47-year-old Marcel Bland. They said, you know, something else is going on here. And Court documents show during a sweep of the house, deputies found a handheld taser, a bloody towel, a claw hammer, and kitchen scissors. What BCSO says is more disturbing. The tools utilized to torture um, the alleged victim in this case were lined up almost methodically. In the garage, deputies discovered a video camera and what looked like blood spatter on the ground. To me, it's it's a cry of, was this going to happen again? Sunday afternoon, hey, sir, a man opened the door at the home but wouldn't answer any of our questions. Marcel Bland. The man facing charges in this case has a long criminal history. Officials say Bland has several felony convictions and just got out of federal custody about a year ago. Bland actually spoke to us in 2013 about a peace treaty his gang signed with a rival one, claiming he was tired of the violence. I don't want to bury any of my children. I don't want to see nobody else's children get buried. But deputies say he's responsible for causing a lot of pain to at least one person. And Captain Andy Taylor says this case is far from over. I believe that we scratch the surface.